Speaking of the theme of right or wrong, let's talk about changing the past. My question is, how do you deal with mourning lost time? I have been feeling some major shifts and part of that is feeling sad about time. I've wasted not being my best self, lost time in my own personal life before having a family and lost wasted time with our kids. God, this is a very um, depressing thought, right? It's very depressing to, to, to think these thoughts. So I definitely want to help you clear this as much as possible today. Also, our kids are four and almost seven. I know we have unfortunately passed on some of our limiting beliefs to them and I can't go back in time, but is there a way to help them change what is already in their subconscious? First of all, absolutely yes. Just like you're in this program still changing your, like you're changing your subconscious. It's obviously not late for you. So why would it be late for a four and a seven-year-old? You're in the most prime time, baby, which is great. So here's what's going on. The reason why you're feeling the feels, okay? You're feeling turmoil. Let me just explain what's going on here. Unconscious mind, which I've shared in module one, subconscious and unconscious, same thing. Okay. When you hear me say subconscious in some modules, unconscious in some modules, same thing. Um, We can get very complex and the psychology world has definitely added complexities of like there's super, well, I also say super conscious, but there's like unconscious, subconscious, super unconscious, like all this crazy. Unconscious has no idea what the past is, all right? Conscious mind can go to the past, can be in the present, and can also go into the future. It has the ability to imagine future circumstances. It has the ability of reviewing the past and reminiscing. Unconscious only knows of present moment. So whatever's going on, it sees as present moment. And the thing is, is that like when you have conscious thoughts of future or past, then the unconscious is going to view these thoughts as happening right now. They either just happened, happened, or about to happen. So this is why visualization is so effective because your unconscious can't tell the difference between is this happening in the future or or is it happening now? Are you imagining it? Like there's no imagination. And so it's like literally right here, like whatever you're visualizing is happening right now. That's why it's so effective. And when you conjure up the past and wish you can go back and change the past, the unconscious is going to think that what you did in the past or what happened in the past is also happening right now. Okay. And you feel turmoil in these thoughts of the past because the unconscious is causing you to have an emotion. And the reason why you have an emotion is to cause you to do something about the situation. So unconscious is seeing the past is happening right now and it's causing emotions, negative emotions, emotions that will catch your attention because it wants you to do something. It's like, wait, change this. You need to change this right now. This isn't good. This isn't useful. You need to change this. But the thing is, is that it's in the past. So <laughs> it's impossible Your mind is trying to do something that is not possible to do. And so you feel this turmoil. You can't go back and actually change anything because the past no longer exists. So what we need to do here is we need to upgrade the message that to the unconscious that nothing needs to be done. And you do this by saying it doesn't exist to the following question. So for example, here's a way that I can kind of start to implant this into your unconscious. If I were to ask you, where is World War Seven? What would you say to me? Where is World War Seven? Like if I went out and looking for where is World War Seven, you would say it doesn't exist, right? Be like, Catherine, never happened, doesn't exist, right? And I'd be like, well, where is World War Four? It doesn't exist. If I were to ask you or you were to ask me, Catherine, where is the civil war? Well, where is the civil war? It did happen. There was a civil war. But if I were to go outside right now in Las Vegas or even where it happened and look around, it doesn't exist, right? 
So where are all the situations in the past that you wish you could go back to and change? Go look for them. They don't exist. That's the thing. The past doesn't exist. And if it doesn't exist, what needs to be done? Nothing needs to be done. So it's about communicating this message of nothing needs to be done to your unconscious because the moment your unconscious understands that something doesn't exist and if something doesn't exist, there's nothing that needs to be done, the feeling melts away. The feeling then becomes clear. But what does exist in the present moment, you can do something about and you have full control and power over influencing the future based on what you do now. And so with your children currently, they're already four and seven. Let's not stress out about something that doesn't exist. Them being one and two or babies or even before they existed, it doesn't exist. So there's nothing that needs to be done. And so now it's just focusing on what can you do now? What are you in control of? What are you in power of that you can shift for the future? And MBA is all about that. So use every tool in the book because it's laid out here to help you shift to help you let go of what's in the past because it doesn't exist, to help you recognize that what's happening in the present moment you have full control over. And then that is what's influencing the future.